When it comes to ROM customization, the first name that will come to our mind is Restriction Remix. But as we all know that the Remix ROM is infamous for its stability. But what if I tell you there is a ROM that is not half bad in customization but is amazingly good in terms of stability. So this is a quick walkthrough of Viper OS 8.1 for Redmi Note 3. Hey what's up guys, Bushan here for our boy Expert. With that being said, let's get started. Now first things first, the XDA link to this ROM package will be in the description down below and the unofficial 8.1 pico gaps will be also linked in the description down below so don't worry about that. So Viper OS is a really good ROM when it comes to customization to stability ratio. Now don't fire up your geeky engines when you hear the word customization. Because Viper OS has some nifty customizations that a user might need in their day to day life to make their life easy. That means if you are looking for an alternative to Resection Remix, you might go somewhere else because this ROM is not for customization holic person. Now you can find all the custom settings in the Venom menu which by the way is located under the system settings. Here you can find all the stuff related to customization which includes quick settings, status bar, battery customization, clock customizations, recent settings, navigation key binding and lastly some miscellaneous system settings. Oof, there is a lot of customization for a stock ROM, isn't it? So as this ROM is an AOSP build, almost all the basic things like fingerprint sensor, GeoVolte, calling, Wi-Fi, both the front and rear cameras with video recording support works fine. But there is some lag while using the camera app which can always be fixed by pushing an update. So that's not a big deal for me. But the camera UI in itself is straight on crap. There's no manual controls available even over white balance. So if you're planning to use this ROM as a daily driver, I would highly recommend you to use any third party camera app like Open Camera instead. So that's pretty much it regarding my coverage on Viper OS for Kenzo. I have been using this ROM as my daily driver for a week or so and all I can say is this is probably the most stable ROM I have tested after Natogen OS. So if you want to taste the Venom yourself then slide into the links given down below. With that being said, I'm at a boy expert and I'm signing out.